Andy Quested from the BBC. Uh, what do you think about the uh, media engineering intelligence workshop? Uh, this is the first time I've actually been to the media engineering intelligence workshop, and it was quite a surprise to see the um, range of people that were attending and the knowledge um, that uh, they had and the different backgrounds they came from. Uh, and it was real, really a pleasure to talk to people who actually were, were battling with problems that we've had, that had solutions that were different but still just as valid, um, and some had no solutions and were just as worried as we were when we started. So I think it was actually a very, very good um, talking point for, um, for people who are having problems who are moving from, from a traditional linear-based um, production environment to that very, very big, wide open, non-linear based um, area we're all beginning to work with. What did you learn from the event this morning? I learned from the event that um, uh, we are not alone, as in the BBC and the UK, uh, the digital production partnership is just um, uh, an amalgamation, if you like, of the, of the problems all broadcasters have, um, that we're not alone and that um, as we're moving forward, um, although we might have different approaches, we're actually, we actually have to answer the same problems and most of us have the same requirements from those answers. So we're going to get to a point where we're not that different. And, uh, and although we may have different workflows, different business systems attached to those workflows, our primary objective is to get content from uh, in front of the camera to the person in front of the television. The next topic for the um, media engineering workshop is uh, about cloud for the B2B applications in mm. the media. Uh, is this something that applies to you? Um, cloud working is something that we are all begin to think about. Um, it's something we all have very big concerns about. Um, everybody says you put everything in the cloud, it's all available. Yes, and it's all available to everybody immediately. Um, security in the cloud is a big worry for those making content that's, that's, uh, that's desired. Um, i give you one example. Um, uh, standard radio mics uh, and around our Doctor Who set in Cardiff. We have scanners all around the edge. People trying to pick up advanced um, bits of script, storylines, so they can get be they can be first to, to say they know they're in the know. Um, I'm worried about cloud for not just people who are desperate to find out what the next episode of uh, one of our best soaps is or one of our um, uh, our episodic dramas is, but also that material in the cloud um, that's unedited is is very sensitive. Um, will we run into problems trying to access um, interviewees? who won't speak to us because they are worried about how insecure the cloud is. Um, we'll sort those problems. We will sort the problems, but I don't think we should take a standard approach to it. I think we should really look hard at how the cloud can benefit us, um, not the fact that it's, it's trendy to say, my program is in the cloud because that's exactly where it might be and it's not on the television. The following media engineering intelligence workshop will be on uh, monetizing metadata. Does this apply to you? Um, monetizing metadata is an area that um, is of interest to all of us, whether we're public service, whether we're private, whether we're commercially based. It, it's, it, monetizing can mean different things. Monetizing can be saving money, or it can be making money, or it can be potentially retrieving um, uh, items many, many years in the future. Uh, just because the BBC is public service doesn't mean it can't use uh, metadata for commercial gain um, through its outlets like BBC Worldwide. Um, <coughs> for example, we do sell not just finished programmes, but um, content from programmes. For example, Natural History Archive has great value to other programme makers. Uh, unless we know um, what the, the rights are, unless we know where it is, unless we know what format it is, uh, unless we know actually whether it's a rainy day when it was shot or a sunny day when it was shot, we can't really make money out of those, uh, those assets that we have that are available that we haven't used, um, but we, we, uh, that do have a value to the license we pay because we can make money from them. We were there, we shot it, uh, we didn't use it um, for some reason or another. So can we make money from it? I think it's just as valid for a public service broadcaster as a private or commercial broadcaster that, that metadata is, is accurate, it is complete, and then as well it describes what it says it describes. Um, because I think that we could lose money um, on metadata if 
we are wrong too many times if what uh, we're looking for or what people are searching for isn't what they've asked for. So actually it's very important that I think we get this right, whether we're going to make money out of it now or in the future. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you.